just by how it reacts, you can see right away. This one is getting sucked in. Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing another decor products only experiment. But this time I'm going to be doing a puddle pour. I'm working towards a new cloud mix recipe. I've started it already, um, still working towards it. I'm going to try it today differently as a base coat and then I'm going to pour puddles on top. Move that around and see what happens in time. All right, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using today. Okay, so for this mega experiment here that might go crazy or not, um, I'm starting off with the satin enamels and the student acrylic. I'm going to make a big batch because I'm going to be experimenting with this and I'm really feeling, I'm feeling half, half, but just a, a teeny bit more of the student acrylic, okay? So let's say that and then I'll just put it back in line. Got it. And then so we're here. So I think that's good. Now I'm going to mix that properly. And I just want to show you because I'm not going to obviously mix in front of the camera, but I mix this together. Then I add a little bit of pouring medium. I mix again and then I water to consistency. That's one thing. Um, something brand new today. This is not new. Extreme Sheen. Uh, the matte metallics is not new either, but this is a new um, decor product. I don't know if it's new, new, but anyways, they sent it to me and it's called Texture and it's extremely thick um like like <laughs> that thick so i'm still gonna prepare it and pour it and we'll see how this goes boom <laughs> dude <laughs> so just so you guys can see um how different these three paints are when you pour them out of the bottle this one is fairly thin and they're all three of them are very uh, concentrated. Like they won't need pouring medium, just some water to thin them down. So that's one. And then this is the flat metallic paint. This one I've used before. It's so creepy and intense. Dude, I'm going to put a lot in there. That is going to react. Like you can see it. It's a reacting paint. And then for this one, the new one that's like, well, it's a texture paint. So it's normal that it's thick like that. But who knows how it's going to react in a fluid painting with different, you know, different kinds of paints and stuff in a puddle pour. Let's try. I'm just going to add some pouring medium to this one here because it's so thick, like it needs it. And then I'll use water for the rest. All right, so this is an 18 by 24 and this is very exciting. This is the type of painting that changes so much in time. Sometimes too much because there's so many reacting paints. So what I did is I have some normal studio uh, student acrylic decor paint with nothing mixed in it that won't, won't react as much as these three. And what I'm interested in is this one. I'm hoping that that beautiful orange color there, I'm hoping that it stays very, very matte and doesn't create any cells. Okay, so I'm just going to use this as a base. Boom. This is the new uh, cloud mix. Oh God. Okay. 
These are so fun. This gorgeousness first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all three. One beside each other. Why not? Just by how it reacts, you can see right away. This one is getting sucked in to the satin enamels. This one too a bit, hey, they're, oh my gosh, this is the most fascinating thing ever. These three puddles are all totally different. This one stayed put, nothing happened. This one sank in. There's a cell happening there. This one did sink in, but it spread. <laughs> oh God, so this is the normal white paint that I'm gonna put on top. When I say normal, I mean non-reacting. I feel like doing nothing else, you guys. Like seriously, just I'm gonna use the white paint around. Yeah, and I'm just I'm just gonna move it around like that and see what happens. Let's start with the gold first. Gold off. This side. And then here. And I'm going to get the orange off too. There. Super simple. I'm just gonna give this some time, okay? See what happens. It's already changing a lot. <laughs> I'm back. This is about two hours later, maybe a bit more. It's looking freaking awesome. I'm loving the overall look. This is totally my style. The colors and everything. There's a lot of white left. I'm happy I poured that white on top of my puddles before moving it. I have some really interesting things going on here. Those cells are a bit different than what I'm used to seeing. I find they look ghosty. Hey, eh? I don't know, that probably exists already, ghosts, ghost cells. Um, I don't know, I haven't watched videos in so long, but uh, whatever, um, whatever you wanna call them. They also look like teeth. It's a bit creepy. I love creepy. So here we're used to seeing this reaction here from the extreme sheen. This part. So fascinating. Um, 
I'm having a bit of trouble with this, whatever is happening there. This might continue changing in time, I'm not sure. It's cool. All kinds of different interesting reactions here. Um, so if I analyze the orange, it got sucked in more than, of course, the extreme sheen that came back up. But uh, there we go. Overall look, stay tuned for the dried result. So the painting dried really well. And what I'm going to do now is my fun part that I like. I'm going to accentuate some areas that I would like to be a bit darker. So example, the orange here. And I'm really loving the dark line of black here. But I, I'm going to add some black also here just to give more contrast. And I might go in and just fill this little part that I don't like with white. Uh, I'm just going to go with uh, how I feel in the moment and I'm just basically using the paint straight out from the bottle and that's it. Back with the final result. I did give it a gloss spray varnish. You can see the shine there. And I really, really had fun with it. Now it's standing up. I wanted to show you guys two different directions. So there's the first one. And this is the second one. This is the one that I prefer. You guys can let me know what you think. Um, I was having trouble stopping, which is usually what happens when I paint over. And I see the contrast and I'm like, oh, this is so fun. It's very earthy, I find. It's special, this one. I really like the dark sort of breakages and cells on this side versus the white ones. On the other side. Hope you guys like this. Have a good one.